Hello and welcome to Trendio News. Here are the latest updates. A tourist yacht sank in the Red Sea near Marsa Alam, leaving 17 people missing, Egyptian authorities reported. Rescuers saved 28 passengers, some airlifted for treatment, while 31 tourists and 14 crew were on board. The sinking followed warnings of rough seas with no clear cause yet identified. The vessel, Sea Story, was a newly built motor yacht accommodating 36 passengers. Liam Payne tragically fell to his death from a third-floor balcony in Buenos Aires while allegedly trying to escape his hotel room. Surveillance footage shows the One Direction star acting erratically and resisting staff efforts to return him to his room. Hotel employees had warned 911 about his threats to use the balcony, fearing a potential accident. Bishop T.D. Jakes is stable after a medical emergency during a Sunday sermon at the Potter's House of Dallas. Video shows the pastor shaking before receiving immediate medical attention. The church confirmed his condition and expressed gratitude for community support. His daughter, Sarah Jakes Roberts, shared that he is improving, urging gratitude and love during the holiday season. Two bodies were discovered in Sonoma County, north of San Francisco, amid severe flooding caused by a bomb cyclone. A man's body was found in a swollen creek, while another was recovered from a vehicle submerged in floodwaters in Guerneville. Authorities are investigating whether the deaths are linked to the intense storm that battered the West Coast. A DHL cargo plane crashed into a house near Lithuania's capital during a Monday morning approach, killing a Spanish crew member, but sparing those on the ground. Surveillance footage captured the plane's descent before exploding in a fireball. Authorities are investigating potential causes, including sabotage, amid heightened concerns over Russian-linked attacks targeting Western nations supporting Ukraine. Hundreds of Congress party supporters protested in New Delhi, demanding the arrest of billionaire Gautam Adani, indicted in the U.S. for alleged fraud and bribery. Adani, accused of a $265 million scheme involving Indian officials, denies the charges. Protesters claim the government is shielding Adani, whose company's shares have plunged since the allegations surfaced last week. Carol and Timothy Milner, owners of the Boulder, Colorado home where John Benet Ramsey was tragically murdered in 1996, have declined involvement in the new Netflix docuseries Cold Case Who Killed John Benet Ramsey? The couple told TMZ they were approached by producers but refused, as they have consistently turned down all Hollywood offers over the years, including a seven figure deal. We want nothing to do with the exploitation of that poor family, Carol stated. The home, purchased by the Milners in 2004, became infamous as the site of John Bonet's unsolved murder. Despite its dark past, the Milners raised their five children there, saying they fell in love with the mansion during their initial walkthrough and never felt uneasy about the history. They also dismissed theories that the Ramsey family was involved, though they initially found the idea of the killer being at large unsettling. With the Netflix release scheduled for Monday, the Milners anticipate an increase in curious visitors, but remain unconcerned due to the property's gated perimeter. They have listed the home for sale in the past and are currently in discussions with potential buyers. The Milners insist on respectful behavior from visitors given the tragic nature of the house's history.